So Kemi, the most exciting thing about going to Jinja is stopping by Nama Ujolo. They have the best chicken in the whole wide world. Uh, not better than KFC. <laughs> well, trust me, it's much better than KFC no because way. you can actually get a three-course meal at only 3,000 shillings at Nama Ujolo. No and you can even buy a salad for 3,000 in KFC. No, you see, how are you going to get a full meal for 3000 Well, there's only one way to find out. But before I, before I show you how, we need to bet on something. Okay, you know what? Huh? Wild Waters has said there's one presidential suit. Okay. There's two of us. I wasn't sure how I was going to break the news that it's going to be me staying there. Ah. But if you can get this meal for 3000 well, and, and I want a starter, <laughs> a main course, and a dessert Kemi. for 3000 Watch, it's all yours. Watch the king of haggling. Ah. Pay close attention. <laughs> okay. Only 3,000 shillings. Give me the 3,000 and I'll uh. hold it because I don't use slipping 5,000 here, there. <laughs> here you go. I hope you enjoy the standard room. Well, hello, presidential suit. Let's do this. <laughs> Papa, Jabba, how much? You have 1,000 left, sir. <laughs> 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 Okay, what are we going to do? I'm going to have gonja as my starter, yeah? And then I'll have gonja still as, as my dessert. dessert. Ah. And the chicken will be my, 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 my main, my, my, my main course. What part of the chicken is this? I don't know what they call it in Uganda, Seeing as you but have it's uh, Kuru, it's dramatic. Big <laughs> That's what they call it. It's already dramatic, so You've lost the we're bet. good. You've the presentation lost the bet. is mine. <laughs> you have lost the bet. You can hold what does not look like a chicken. KFC doesn't have that part. Well, KFC needs to get this. <laughs> Which one's your starter and dessert? This one looks small. This will be my starter. <laughs> it sucks to fail miserably <laughs> with water in your face. <laughs> it looks like you'll be enjoying your standard room, Moshe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only 45 minutes later, we were at the Wild Waters Gate. And seeing as I had won the bet, I couldn't wait to see their finest room. Situated on 6.5 hectares of unspoiled island paradise, nestled in between thundering rapids on the Nile River, the only way to get there is on a canoe. Hi, Moshe. Hello. Hi, Kemi. Hi. Glad to see you. Thank I'm Dennis. You. Uh, welcome to Wild Waters Lodge. Thank, Thank you so much. I'm going to walk you through to the main lodge. It's uh, interlinked with a walkway, wooden walkway. That's about 1.5 uh, kilometers of walkway. We have a swimming pool under the main lodge area on the far right of the, uh, of the walkways. Whichever side of the, of, of the river that you want to stay, well, let me know. It was unfortunate on our way here, someone lost a bet, we won't say who. So he can go and We're already south. getting into that right now. <laughs> he can go south by the pool while I go check out the rooms. How about that? Okay, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> All right, fantastic. So let's get going. I'll just uh, rest the jackets over here. 
for the next coming guests. So you're welcome, Kemi. I will uh, walk you through uh, to your rooms and uh, through to the main lodge area. We'll tell you briefly about what the lodge is all about. Okay. And uh, the safety features of a lodge, what to do and what not to do. But I bet you'll enjoy yourself. I can already so, tell that I will. <laughs> great. After winning the bet with Moshe, I had a very, very important question for Dennis, the director at Wild Waters. Which is the best room here at Wild Waters Lodge? Well, that's quite a hard question for me to give you an answer to. From our past guest experiences, everybody has their own favorite room because each, each room is extremely unique. I personally, room number 10 is my best room. And why is that? Why? Because it's on the louder side of, uh, of, the, of, uh, of the lodge. So your rooms have a louder side and a quieter Correct. side? So we have uh, our rooms that are spread out into two. We have rooms on the left of the main lodge area that are on the quiet side of the, of the nine. And those rooms, those are about four rooms. They're pretty quiet. You sleep out there and sleep like a baby. This, mm -hmm. Just don't hear anything just the wind and then the rooms on the right are where the action is where the river flows fast mm -hmm. so they are at the rapids and it feels like it's raining all night i think to that me, would make that's me amazing. sleep like a baby <laughs> that, that i would prefer that but my little girl prefers room, uh, the family room that is the room number three that is uh, a double storage room has uh, so you can have the parents down at the bottom and the kids up we have uh, canvas walls in all the rooms. When you get out into the balcony, we have uh, an elegant bathtub. So every room has that unique aspect with it. What makes Wild Waters Lodge so unique? One, its architectural design is amazing. Everything as we found on the island stayed as it is. And we built around it just, to, just for us to fit within the ecosystem. All the rooms that, we, all the rooms that are nested on this island are within the river and forest. Every room has a private view, private decks with a breathtaking, a breathtaking views, like I said. And then also the other beauty about the Wild Waters Lodge is that it's so close to Kampala. It's just an hour and a half, which is a very easy way to uh, come in and get out. It's, it's quite amazing. When we, walk, when we take a walk around, you definitely see uh, the value in uh, being at Wild Waters. So this is uh, the site, the view of my favorite room, which I bet would be your favorite like room as well. all roads lead to room number 10. Well, and that's... <laughs> there must be a reason. I can already hear the sounds. Oh, well, the... and that's why that room is called Aswan. Which being means? The biggest... Aswan is the name of a dam, the biggest dam there is on the Nile. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Aswan Nile High Dam. Yeah, so you're welcome to my favorite room, which Woo! I believe is going to be... I'm excited. The room for the night. So your bathroom and uh, toilet is on your far right. Pink granite uh, uh, stone of a water sink. This is the artwork of Brad McClay. When he saw this granite stone, he was uh, moved by it, did a uh, few tricks on it with his tools and machines, mm -hmm. and got it working. And there it is. And what is the shower made of? This is uh, just concrete with a, a South African pest on finishing. It is truly the most unique shower yeah, I've ever seen. It's amazing and has some really, really good pressure. So we'll uh, head out to uh, the rest of your uh, room. Oh my goodness. It's a wooden deck floor. That's the bed for you for the night. You have another day bed. Sleep in one and during the day. Sleep and sleep in, in another. another the all half the nights there, half wow. the nights <laughs> over there. All of this made from materials sourced locally? Correct. This is our, all, this, all, this, uh, all this furniture is locally made, handmade furniture by our local crew that we had uh, stationed on the island. Wow. Yeah. I'm so, anxious to see this view. I'm sorry I'm so speechless. This view is just so breathtaking. And anyone who knows me knows that me being speechless is very hard to come by. That's fantastic to know. So you also have um, an elegant bathtub. You can fill it up with hot water and enjoy the breathtaking view. Wow. You have uh, some sun lounges. We just uh, round the corner in case you need anything, you can just let us know. I'm sure I'll be right here by this bathtub. Great. <laughs> Thank Enjoy you. your stay. Thank you so much.
it would not be at all right to come all the way out to Wild Waters Lodge and not get into the wild waters of the Nile. So after checking in, we went rafting. Okay team, welcome. This is New Blue. This is our baby for the day, taking us down. If you fall out of the raft today, don't panic. It's a lot of fun, okay? It's a lot of fun. Even if you cannot swim, you still have a life jacket on, it's safe, you're okay, all okay. right? You're gonna pop up. You may go under the water for two, maybe three seconds, not very long, okay? When you pop up, face the sky. Don't face down starfish in the water. It really freaks me out, yeah? Breathe, breathe. <laughs> face the sky, lie on your back, bring your feet up. Sound good? Sounds yeah. great. All right. There's only one way to find out how well we do. And that's the go. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah we're right. ready. This is a paddle high five. You gotta put your paddles up in the middle. All together. One, two, three. Woo! Okay. And after that crash course on how not to drown, we were off. The first rapid was much closer than I thought it would be, and everything Matt had just told me just left my head. Pure instincts kicked in. <laughs> catching my breath when we got to the second rapid. I felt so alive. My body was running on pure adrenaline. My heart was pounding. My pupils were dilated. But the kayakers who were there to help us couldn't be any more bored. Just another day at the office for them, I guess. We finally got to a rather peaceful portion of the river and Matt told us that the next rapid was at least twice as strong as the last two we had just taken on. For me, there was only one logical way to respond to this news. take on the mother of rapids. As soon as they started approaching the rapid, every fiber in my body was saying that this is a bad idea. Halfway in, the guys were doing well, really well, and then this happened. After that, I was sure Moshe was definitely not thirsty. Guys, we how made was it? it. Good I'm job. alive. <laughs> Excellent work. Well, yeah. Tell the story. Yeah, you guys have fun today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was it was brilliant, Ex especially the flip. That was. I know. Did you see me <laughs> over there? <laughs> how I flipped? <laughs> <laughs> well, she she didn't flip, <laughs> but it was brilliant. When you go down in the water, it, it we were down there for like what five two seconds. Yeah, yeah, about but five it feels seconds like, max. Yeah. It feels like you're in there for a whole hour, and <laughs> you start thinking about things down in the water. And, ah, it's, it's brilliant. I think everyone should try and do it. Everyone Absolutely. in their lifetime like should try and do what it. What were the so. names of the rapids again? All right, so the first one we had was Arrow. Uh -huh. Then we had Vengeance. Vengeance. Do you like Vengeance? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you love well, I loved all of them. You loved them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I loved all of them. And then Club, Club Wave was your big yeah. Club, Club yeah. Wave was my, was my favorite, man. That was wow. 
And all the tips you gave us were really helpful, especially during the flip, you know, to stay calm and put your feet up. Uh, it was brilliant. Thank sure, you so sure, much. Sure. That was very helpful. Oh, my pleasure, <laughs> yes. guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Yeah, bring some more parties I want to do it along. again. See yeah. you next time next on time. the flip side. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Next time we're doing all eight of them. Yeah, come and do it all flip, eight. Flip, 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 flip. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you down myself, mate. Brilliant. All right. Thanks, Thanks so guys. Bye. Cheers. After seeing Moshe's ridiculous definition of a three-course meal earlier today, I decided the young fellow could do with a little culinary education. So I set him up with Chef Senyonga, the head chef at Wild Waters Lodge. For a starter, Chef Senyonga prepared the tasty chili beef salad, drizzled with a dressing of olive oil and a garnish of sesame. Well, our starter is here. Yeah. <laughs> chili beef salad. It's very nice, I must say. I love how the olive oil yeah. helps it slide off your tongue. So, did you go to school to learn how to become a chef, or do you have a TV but I need to call it the way it is? Yeah, I have a TV, and I have a hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. It literally took Moshe only 30 seconds to go through the entire salad. Someone packed an appetite. So, Mr. Senyonga, the, the starter was amazing. Yeah. I cannot wait to see what we're going to have for our main course. Our main course. Yes. Okay. Thank you for appreciating. Just like clockwork, his main course was placed in front of him. A beautiful tender medium rare beef fillet served with an onion and tomato salsa, a broccoli puree, cauliflower, and a side of symmetrical square chips. Most of our clients who come here on the menu, they like it so much. Every guest comes and says, I've never had such a beef fillet. The more you talk about it, the more I want to dig in. So let's dig in. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you say it's medium, medium rare, right? Yeah. See, when you cut into it, the, the juices are all over the plate, so that should be exciting. Uh, and, the, and the layers are yeah. very beautiful. You can still see that it's a bit pink in there. It is very tender. Look at, look at that. See how you cut into it and you have all the juices flowing. That, yeah. that is really cool. Not very many people can pull that off, I'm telling you. I myself cannot. <laughs> so what do I'm going to do? I want to go to the house and go to the house. I want to go to the So, do you also make them meals like this at, at home? Or what do you want to do? I want to go to the house. 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 Yeah. So, Sebu Gena, not to run Muntebe, no Landama. Yes. Now we know Linda. And one minute, 17 seconds later, Mosha was done. I honestly believe that was a wild water record. To Mami Senyonga. Yes, sir. Pombe Duanyen and Mede. I'm excited to test the dessert. Thank you so much. Okay. So, Mr. Senyonga. Our dessert is, is very fancy. <laughs> First of all, it has, you know, various colors. Talk to me about the dessert. The dessert is called the mud cake. I do mud cake. I don't know how to I don't know how to do it. I don't you make different colors you want, but I realize this color is the best. Yeah, yeah. you pick then the right color. what we see on brown side yeah. is a caramel. Okay. It's also just made from sugar. You put some cream and butter. Okay. Yeah. So what you see in small cup is mm. whipped cream. Okay. Yeah. It's a sauce for the muddy cake. This is very nice. The, this is very, very nice. So, Mr. Senyong, I don't know if you know this already, but on my way here, I passed by Namaojola. 
I had a three course meal. Huh? I had some gonja for my starter. <laughs> and I ate some, uh, I think they are gizzards. And then I also had some gonja for, <laughs> for my dessert. For my dessert. <laughs> it was it was very dramatic the way I got my food. It wasn't you know very prim and proper like this. So. Thank you so much for changing my perception about three course meal. This, <laughs> this is the way to do it, not my other getaway. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so it. much. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. The next day before we left Ginger, there was one last thing left to do. So this is the bungee jumping we're going to do. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be even easier than I thought, Mosha. <laughs> I mean, I know I didn't do the flip. You're, you're looking at it from here, but you haven't seen how, how far Mosha, up that, that thing Mosha, is. Mosha, Mosha, Do you want to lose another bit? I can't lose any more bets, but <laughs> hey, I'm excited about doing I this, know, man. Let's it looks cool. Let's go do this. Let's go. Moment of truth. Look at that picture, man. We're going to do that. You are welcome to a drift. Thank you. So on a scale from one to yeah, so how just dangerous made. is this? I just bank jumping is very safe. So on a scale from much one to more 10. safer than maybe driving from Kampala to Ginger. Okay, we did just that. Just step on the scales and take your weights. Ladies first. Okay. So Ladies around, first. Please. <laughs> I just so wait. So just write on your hand. Twenty-two kilograms. Oh, yes. oh okay, okay. <laughs> just hide it. Hide it. Okay, Rihanna. <laughs> How much is that, big man? I'm not a very big man. Let me write something here. Moshe, well that uh, one holds me. That's... Ah, <laughs> easy. It was definitely one of the most bizarre and unforgettable experiences of my life. To have to force myself to leap from a platform at what seemed like an impossible height above the Nile. The jump master in charge of the platform kindly assured me that the most dangerous thing about bungee jumping was driving on the road between Kampala and Jinja. But just to make sure, I let Moshe go first. Okay, Moshe. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure that thing is struck, man? Yeah, everything's good. Are you serious? Everything's good, good. Lord. Okay. So just listen to me. Okay, let me take the next couple of big breaths. Breathe it. When we shout three, two, one, bungee, dive out and stop crying. Ready for this? Let's do this. Ten, three, two, one, bungee. Now you turn, yeah. you just need to be strapped up yeah, yeah, yeah. and take sit on the chair. Now, I have just remembered, um, Kemi. I, I, I forgot something. No turning back. I, there's no turning back. I'll be back right now. Two minutes. Okay, two minutes. sure. Just, just sure? give me two minutes. Are you sure, I'll, I'll be right okay, back. I just forgot waiting. something. We're here waiting. See you soon.